Well, here we have a, uh, a cheap AliExpress smartwatch. It has a mobile phone in it. It has a camera in it. And it's not very good. So, five minute teardown. Well, here we can see the uh, three clock faces that the uh, phone will show. And uh, you just tap them to change them. Not very pretty. And uh, now you'll see someone who doesn't have a user manual trying to work out how to find where the camera functions are. And uh, eventually we get into the menu system and I find the camera. Well, we found the settings in the end, got the camera running. And then... Uh, had a quick look around the desk, tried to find something to take a picture of. Found the WS12, no, WS2812B stick and uh, sort of like tried to arrange the lighting a bit, try to get the best picture we could, take the picture and then download it and uh, put it up on the screen for you to see in a few seconds time. As you can see, yeah, not a very good picture quality. Doesn't come out very well at all on the PC. So, uh, another reason to uh, take it apart. Well, there's a good picture of the uh, the GIS chip, which looks like it's an ARM chip. Well, this is the uh, processor that's in the little wrist, camera, phone, smartwatch, whatever. But uh, I never expected it to be a one chip does all. So this is the data sheet, and if we look... And there's a block over a block overview of it. You know, there's just so much it can do built into one little chip. So uh, quite amazing, but uh, not the sort of thing that, as a hobbyist, you would use. As I expect, a development system and getting this up and running will be quite expensive. But uh, if I can find the link again, I'll post a link. I'll paste a link down below. So that's the chip. You know, here's a sort of the gem, general bit: integrated voice band, audio band, and bass band analog front end. Integrated full-featured power management unit. It's an ARM 732-bit RISC processor with a Java hardware accelerator. There you go. DMA bus, watchdog timer, general purpose timers. 
a division coprocessor. So that's maths. <laughs> five row times five volume keypad controller. Dual SIMs, real time clock. It does pulse width audio modulation output. Three UARTs. Four bit SDIO. PCM. I squared C. SPI, if we are on battery management, you know, it's feature rich. What more could you want from a chip? If you want to know more, follow the link to the data sheet. 6625E, this is the uh, front end module, provides the, the uh, power application between the, uh, the ARM7 chip and the antenna, block diagram, you know, pinouts. And that's about all it does. That's all that's on the data sheet I could find. So uh, I won't provide a link to that as it's, you can see it all here. But that's basically all the chips information I could find. Well, let's have a look at the battery. And it has what is possibly a protection board on, on board. I shall put that in my uh, small battery collection. Might find a use for it. Just tried removing the uh, touch screen. And uh, touch screen no more. There's most of what's left if you like what you see please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified of my next video hitting the like button helps my channel get noticed by youtube <laughs> still kind of works